What's going on guys, it's Greg here today and today we're going to be talking about the mini-map and how it is very important as well as how you guys can read it. So uh, I want to go over some things here real quick in presentation style and then we're going to go ahead and watch some mini-map gameplay today so you guys can see how I focus on positioning and my overall map awareness based off of the mini-map. So let's go ahead and dive right into this. Alright, so today we're going to be going over how to effectively read the minimap, and as an outline for what we're going to be going over, we're going to be going over a basic overview of the minimap, what kind of information you can pull from the minimap, how often you should check the minimap as well as where your teammates are positioned, the vertical and horizontal HUD bounds, which I will cut into a video on how to set that up properly, the UAV, counter UAV, advanced UAV, decoy grenades, and the ghost perk, as well as perks that enhance the minimap. Starting off with a basic minimap overview, the minimap is one of the highest skill gap tools we have available here in Call of Duty. A player that knows how to read the minimap is going to have a significant advantage over an enemy who does not. A lot of players don't have the minimap awareness that higher skilled players do and a lot of the times they will start to begin that people are wall hacking which is simply just not the case with practice you can actually learn how to use the minimap and effectively predict enemy locations without even having to see red dots as well as make smarter decisions about how you want to go about maneuvering the map the minimap is located in the top left of your screen and it is one of the most useful tools in the entire game for split second decision making. So the minimap is going to show you a downsized version of the map that you are currently playing on and by default the minimap will rotate with your character in real time so if you're spinning around in a circle or whatnot it's going to show you the direction that you're facing on the minimap. This is going to outline landscape, buildings, and features the map has to offer around you. And in 6v6 game modes, the minimap will show teammates, enemies, unsuppressed gunfire, but only when an informational killstreak is active, objectives, and much more. In Ground War, the minimap will show you all the previous features from 6v6, as well as vehicles and ammo caches and invasion, everything we just talked about will be on the minimap as well as AIs because, well, they exist in that mode. How often should you check the minimap as well as how do we read the map based off our team's positioning? So checking the minimap should be frequent. I generally check the minimap before I am going to peek something um, especially if there is a UAV or an advanced UAV up in the air. Also, I highly recommend checking the minimap to know if there's going to be teammates, uh, where they're located, what are they watching, um, are they watching your back, are they watching something else. This should tell you where you should be positioning yourself on the map and where you should be checking for enemies and how you should also play the map because teammates location actually influences the enemy spawn positions on the map. Wherever your teammates are not located, that is very likely that there could be an enemy there. So what I mean by this is if the enemies are, let's say the teammates are behind you, that means the enemies are more than likely going to be in front of you. You should not be turned around watching where your teammates are. It just doesn't really make sense to do that. If there is a friendly informational killstreak active, the UAV will guide you to where enemies are and you should obviously use your map surroundings to position and outplay the revealed enemies. Do not just blindly run at them. In objective modes like Domination, there will actually be objectives with a friendly or enemy color uh, depending on which team owns the flag. By default, these friendly colors are always blue, enemy colors are always red, your minimap indicator of where you are is yellow, and of course, anybody that you are partied up with turns green. So here's a little example in figure A of what I was trying to talk about with teammates positioning. So as we can see here, there's a red line drawn on the map. We can see that behind that red line, there are people I'm partied up with as well as random teammates on the map, 
and that way I know that it is very unlikely that there are going to be enemies on that area of the map. However, if we look past that where the teammates are not, that is where it is likely we are actually going to be seeing enemies, and they could be positioned pretty much anywhere within there. Now, it is not to say that there isn't a chance that someone is flanking us, but again, team communication, as well as seeing these indicators of your teammates disappearing off the minimap, or just seeing a death skull on your screen, can help you know where that is. Also, I wanted to point out the white circle is a friendly dog tag in the kill confirm game mode, which that means an enemy killed a teammate there recently. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your vertical bounds so that way the minimap is closest to the center of your screen as possible. And the reason you wanna do this is because it's going to decrease the amount of time that you have to move your eyes to the upper left of your screen uh, from the center. And you always wanna be focused on centering your crosshair. So having it closer to the middle of your screen is going to decrease the amount of time you have to keep looking between the center of your screen and the minimap. So first thing is what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the options and we're going to go down to interface. Once we get to interface, we are going to scroll down until we see right here, vertical heads up display bounds. We're going to set these to zero. And the main reason we want to have these at zero is it's going to make sure that our HUD is furthest to the right on the left side and then, you know, and so on and so forth. So basically how it's going to work is it's going to be more towards the center of your screen rather than the edges of your screen. And again, the reason this is important is so we don't have to move our eyes as much from the center of our screen to the minimap, allowing us to see the minimap faster and get back on target faster. Let's talk about informational kill streaks, which is one of the most useful things you can run in Call of Duty multiplayer. So in Modern Warfare 2, there are currently three informational killstreaks as of today that I'm making this video, which is November the 8th. The inf informational killstreaks are as follows. At four kills or 500 score, you get a UAV, which periodically pings enemies on the minimap. At five kills or 625 score, we have the counter UAV, which scrambles the enemy's minimap, which pretty much makes it so the enemies do not see anything on their minimap during the time that is active. At 12 kills or 1500 score, we're going to have the advanced UAV, which shows non-ghost perk users in real time with a directional indicator. This is pretty much essentially a wall hack if you just quickly glance at your minimap and then back to your screen. You're basically always going to be positioning yourself when an advanced UAV is up to quickly start gunfights and end gunfights, and you will see that in today's minimap gameplay that I will be showing off. This is also something that you should know about the advanced UAV, that the ghost perk users ping every few seconds as if there is a UAV active. The advanced UAV directly counters ghost. When you hear an enemy advanced UAV has been called in, you are not safe. It does not matter if you're running ghost or not. You are on the enemy's radar and you should play a little bit more strategically and not just blindly push your enemies. As we can see here in figure A, red dots are appearing on the minimap, uh, as well as some AIs because this was the invasion game mode, so those little tiny dots are the AIs. Um, so the UAV is revealing an enemy that is not using the ghost perk. In figure B, we see red directional arrows appearing on the minimap when the advanced UAV is active, and the enemy is not using the ghost perk. However, if they are using the ghost perk, they are revealed as a normal red dot, which is what you see as that diamond to the southwest of my indicator. And it pings these guys every few seconds. Now, I want to talk about decoy grenades real quick as part of this. And you guys can see that there is a decoy grenade thrown on the map right now. It's that circle looking red dot. That is a decoy grenade on the mini map. And that's the difference between a real player and a decoy grenade is the decoy grenades show up as a circle rather than a diamond or a directional arrow. And last but not least, always be paying attention to the top right of your screen when you hear something about a kill streak being used. This will let you know when a friendly, an enemy, or even your own kill streaks are activated. And you always want to be paying attention to this because if you hear that there's an enemy UAV and you see that they called one in, 
Now you know, if you don't have ghost, you're going to be shown on the enemy's radar. If you hear something along the lines of a hostile advanced UAV is spotted, then for the next minute, you are going to be on the enemy's radar in real time unless you are running ghost. And again, if you are running ghost, you will still show up and you still show up often. So you got to be very smart whenever you hear there's an enemy advanced UAV up or else it's just going to instantly put you guys in a spawn trap or just you're going to be constantly dying because the advanced UAV gives anybody who understands how to use this kill streak and their radar essentially a free wall hack for the minute it is active and a lot of the time a really good player is partied up with another really good player that is also capable of earning an advanced uav while that advanced uav is active therefore it is not very uncommon that you will hear another advanced uav be called in shortly after the first one ends and if this happens you might be on the enemy's radar for the rest of the game so you have to be very smart when an advanced UAV is called in by the enemy team. You should be playing very smart and you should be trying to kill the player who got the advanced UAV and also be making note of any players on the other team that are also getting kill streaks, which again in the top right of your screen, it will let you know what kind of kill streaks enemies are on in increments of 5 in 6v6 and in increments of 10 in the ground war game mode so always be paying attention to that because if you see another enemy player that is not the person who called an advanced uav on a 10 kill streak and if they are running the advanced uav that means they are two kills off of their advanced uav which you want to stop them before they can snowball advanced uavs on your team otherwise it's pretty much wraps for your team finally let's talk about perks that enhance the minimap the spotter perk will reveal enemy killstreaks that are not normally shown on the minimap, and this is killstreaks such as the UAV. This can be very helpful when you're going for camo challenges or trying to level up your launchers. Finally, the bird's eye perk is going to increase the distance on your minimap, and what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to see much more of your surroundings, as well as when this perk is earned during the match, it gives you one local UAV radar sweep, which means your teammates will not see this, but you will. And all the red dots, which are those red diamonds, they are replaced with red directional arrows like an advanced UAV. However, this does not turn a normal UAV into an advanced UAV, which means this does not counter the ghost perk. The only thing in the game that counters the ghost perk is the advanced UAV. So for this gameplay, this one is going to show us the minimap quite a bit. So you guys can see right now some red dots have appeared on radar because I pulled up a UAV. And I'm going ahead and I'm challenging out these players and trying to position based off of where they are. This guy ended up coming back and challenging and I ended up killing him and I was able to turn on him and get lucky there. Now I see that there's still more people going to be pushing me and there's only one or two ways they can actually enter this building. And as of right now, they're obviously not going to be coming in from behind. So therefore I am focusing on the front. Now they can come in from behind because of where they are. However, I ran out of ammo and I needed a new gun, so I'm just searching for a gun real quick, hoping that my teammates would have helped me out survive. I ended up surviving and now I'm one off an advanced UAV, so I'm trying to look for a pick. I can see that there are some dog tags towards the school, but I feel that these guys have probably already rotated out of the school and they are pushing towards my position. Because why? I have killed people here recently. They're going to try to come back and try to get me out of this position. Now that I have my advanced UAV up, I'm going ahead and I'm rotating, trying to flank the people that are on the advanced UAV while also trying to eliminate people as fast as possible so that way I can get as many kills while the advanced UAV is up, possibly even getting an MGB missile which would end the game and give us a free victory. However, I do not get an MGB this gameplay so that's kind of unfortunate. So as you guys can see, I'm going to reposition because I just killed a few players and I was weak, so I need to regain health. So I'm going to go ahead and reposition. I want to try to chow this guy out, but a teammate ends up cleaning him up. And I'm trying to go ahead and get another nice little secondary because, again, I was grinding low on ammo. Since the advanced UAV is still up, I'm obviously looking around to position and look for players to pick off. As well as trying to take each individual player as a one-on-one -on -one and trying to have them funnel towards me. That is the best way to take on enemies in any Call of Duty game is try to have the enemies funneling to you in an area where they can only peek you from one direction. The reason you want to do this is because if an enemy is funneling towards you in an area where they can only peek you from one direction, you have the best chances of gunning them and then also moving on to next targets without having to swap between targets quickly as possible. Right there that was a bad play because I thought that guy was a little bit closer than he actually was and I ended up getting killed off my MGB streak. Now that my advanced UAV is out, there still is a normal UAV up. However, I know none of these teammates 
or none of these enemies rather on the other team have enough score in order to earn the ghost perk yet therefore the UAV should reveal each and every enemy that is on the other team. Now, as you can see, none of my teammates are around me, so I know that this is going to be where the enemies are, and I need to try to make sure I'm making a smart play, especially because, one, I don't have Dead Silence active, two, there is no UAV active, therefore I need to make sure that I'm making a smart play and not going to get myself killed. So again, I'm just trying to look around and trying to pick people off in very odd angles, and that's exactly what I'm doing, and that's the way I'm maneuvering around the map. My friend ends up earning an advanced UAV, so now we have a little bit more fun. And this is what I was trying to tell you guys about, is when one person gets an advanced UAV, and if they're partied up with a good player that is also running the advanced UAV, you can really streamline these things for the entire match if you have the right amount of people in the lobby and the right amount of people obviously running the advanced UAV. So again, right here, I'm positioning myself on pretty much holding angles to where the enemies are going to have to peek me from one direction. And of course, there's a lot of enemies around here, so I'm going to try to take them off one at a time. And this is something that you always want to be trying to do whenever you're using the minimap to your advantage, is you want to try to get the enemies one at a time, so that way you are not taking more damage than necessary by as many enemies as possible. So there, there we go. We go ahead and take this guy out. I'm going to go ahead and reposition again, which is what I always do. And Dem Tiggle Biddies tells me that we need a bath. <laughs> I get my advanced UAV and now we have yet another advanced UAV, which is pretty much just wraps for this enemy team. There's really nothing they can do at this point. We have the UAVs just being snowballed. We have the advanced UAVs being snowballed. They could throw decoys, but as I mentioned earlier, decoys show as a different dot on the minimap. So I know which one's a real player, I know which one's a decoy, and there's no way they can pretty much bamboozle me with the decoy grenade. So at this point, I'm just rotating around, chasing down these players and trying to position based off of the UAV. So I know this gameplay has showed a lot of advanced UAV and UAV footage. So what do you do when there is no UAV or no advanced UAV on the screen? Well, what you need to do is you need to be watching where your teammates are positioned. That's really, it's as simple as that. See where your teammates are positioned, and you have to try to memorize the enemy's spawn points on the maps depending on where your teammates are. And that is one of the most beautiful things about watching somebody else's YouTube gameplay when they are running the advanced UAV, is you can see where I am on this map, right? and you can see where they're spawning in whenever I have an advanced UAV active. So it's actually really helpful for you guys to go ahead and digest all the spawn knowledge based off of my gameplay. So I'd highly recommend doing that every single time you watch one of my gameplays. For the rest of this game, I don't really think we get much of a UAV or an advanced UAV, and this guy was just asking about um, our Twitch, so I just put my YouTube in just to let him know in case he was curious. Um, but yeah, so pretty much, for the rest of the game, I don't really know if we get much UAVs or advanced UAVs, and I was playing really aggressive this match, and I was also looking to go for camo, so I was kind of like working on crouch kills and all that kind of stuff, and as well as trying to get Pila kills and all that for the camos. I actually got every gun in the game gold already, so now I'm just focusing on the platinum challenges, then the polyatomic challenges, and then I'll have a Ryan camo for you guys to look at in the gameplays um, on the channel for the rest of this game's life cycle, so um, that would be pretty exciting, but... At this point, all I'm doing, really, and again, this is just going to come with practice, is I'm just looking where are my enemies at, and I'm just peeking different angles, um, or not, not, not where my enemies are at, I'm looking where my teammates are at, and then I'm just peeking different angles to try to see if the enemies are around. Um, and that's pretty much all you want to do, and that's the best thing to do, is just constantly look where your enemies are, or I keep saying enemies, man, where your teammates are at, okay, you look where your teammates are at and then you try to think okay well if they are here then that means my enemies must be here and if you keep thinking that way and you try it out and you keep trying and you keep looking at your mini map and your teammates positioning eventually it will start clicking for you of which direction you should start going on the map in order to search out and seek your enemies but anyways, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. The rest of this gameplay is pretty much nothing. Um, I think I just get like a, maybe another Overwatch Hilo. I think I go like 63 and 10. So I'm just going to leave it there for you guys. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I don't want this video to be too long either. We're almost at 20 minutes, which is pretty damn long. And this guy also got a care package juggernaut. So it's pretty much just us trying to take it out for the rest of the match. But uh, yeah, anyways, hopefully you guys, this helped you out. Pay attention. 
uh, to the minimap in my gameplays, you'll be able to learn the spawns based off of advanced UAVs being called in whenever I'm running it in those gameplays, and you'll be able to also try to figure out how the spawns and where the enemies are going to spawn in based off of my teammates' locations. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Drop a like, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Peace out.